Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am visiting a classic once again, Championship Manager 94 on the Commodore Amiga. Uh, one of my most popular videos I played um, about a year ago I believe, something around that time. Um, and it seems that people like watching it, so I figured well, why not start a full season? Except we're going to do it with a bit of a twist here. I've picked a side from the bottom division that I feel like, you know, could be resurrected with like a sugar daddy or something. I've given the club a cash injection and uh, we're going to hopefully get them up from the lower league right through to the Premier League with a bit of luck. Um, I'm not going to play it the cheats way. So I know there is a formation out there where you can win practically every game you play. I'm going to try and play it honestly. Uh, may skip ahead a few matches um, from time to time because obviously it's going to be very time consuming to play like loads and loads of seasons. But we'll see. We'll see how far we get and uh, we'll see how long it takes to actually do this. And uh, if it does seem to be like it's taking a long time, then, uh, you know, we'll we'll maybe skip ahead. So I have actually set up the team already, done the necessary work to give my club a cash injection. The old football manager or championship manager, should I say, trick of adding a manager of a richer club and, uh, you know, buying a couple of players for overinflated prices. And that's given me the cash. And I think I've got about 16 million in the bank. So what I do want to do is just go and see if I can sign a couple of players. I'm trying to remember where the good players are. I had to sign a couple of players off camera because I didn't have enough players in my squad. So I signed a couple of Luton players. I seem to remember they were really good. And what I want to do is possibly sign seem to remember this Brian McCall was a very good player from Stockport now he may not want to come look at that that's the cash I've got so let's see if he does no nope, he's rejecting that's a shame what about a loan nope. okay all right well he doesn't want to come this is going to be the problem obviously I'm not going to be able to attract the better players at the moment and that could be an issue going forwards Especially if I can't remember who the good players were. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle. I, now I got a couple of players from Luton in. I'll show you them in a bit. Um, yes, I do remember some. I'm sure Oxford have got. No, maybe not. Oh, they got Matt Elliott. I wonder if he's going to be any good in the game. I know he went on to be. A good player. No, nope. doesn't want to come anyway. <laughs> this is going to be the problem, isn't it? Attracting players to the lower divisions. Might have to just go with what I've got for the for the beginning of the game. Let's see if there are any more teams. I know the kind of players I want to bring in, but I don't think they're going to want to come. I mean, here I remember there's. I just why are they unhappy? Can I work with his coach? Could we take advantage of that? No. <laughs> you never know, do you? Sometimes the the unhappy players you can you can nab because they're unhappy. Oh, he's keen, this guy. Okay, good. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of money off. Wow, it's a hefty wage. It's the same wage he's on though, so let's see if he'll accept a wage cut. No, okay. <laughs> that was worth a try. A little bit of a wage cut, there you go. Okay, I don't know what this guy's like. He's got some pace. We're tackling. Defender, midfielder. At the moment it's about getting numbers in because yeah, this is the guy I'd love to sign from Derby because he's always good in this game, but Considering I usually sign him for clubs like Man United and I don't think he's going to want to come. Yeah, figured. Might have to be that we're going to have to raid the free transfer market. And let's have a look on the transfer list. There you go for it. Okay. See, I don't know if any of these Premier League players are going to want to come. Gary Walsh. How about it, Gary? Okay, fair enough. Didn't think you would. Colin McKee. Nope. 
Don't even remember Colin McKee. Well, I remember him from this game, funnily enough. Um, I might have to lower my sights a bit. I'm pretty sure that these Premier League players are not going to want to come. How about Edge Hill? another player I've, I remember signing in this game quite a lot yeah maybe we'll have to move away from the Premier League players uh, I think we're now into the lower leagues probably this is these miners still want to want to come oh, we got you and Roberts got a lot of goals let's try oh he's keen he's keen It's a really good ones. Hmm. Okay. I could try buying him. He's only cheap. Don't know what my goalkeeper situation's like. Okay, fair enough then. Well, that rules that one out. It's so hard to buy foreign players in this game. Even the Welsh ones, it would seem. Wow, look at that guy. I would love to, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, no. Of course not. Darn it. Podobski. Love to get a foreign sign in, it'd be awesome. Uh, no work permit cannot be attained. All right, then. <sighs> Probably have to give this one up, I would imagine. Ling. Who's that then? Soren Ling. Oh, I seem to remember that name. Oh well, I think 
we're not going to get a foreign player in. That's it's too hard. Like I said, even in the even for the top sides, it's hard to get a foreigner in. Right, where are we looking? Don't know if I can get anyone from these clubs in. Bruce Dyer, I oh, remember him. Wow, look at that, they've chopped my money down. I've only got 9 million to spend now. I had 16 at one point. Bloody greedy board of directors. Steve Guppy, I mean, wasn't he a fullback? Hmm. 200,000 he's valued at. Let's try. Ooh, maybe it's the wages that are making my money go down a bit. Let's see if we can get some money off. Okay, so we're getting some players in. I don't know if these players are any good, mind you, but. Des Little. Remember him as well. I'd like to get a team of mostly recognised players, just so that I can, like, know who I'm picking. Alan Nielsen. He's got great rating there. Probably means he's not going to want to come to me. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I get it, it is a bit of a drop in the divisions. I'll be put Harks up for sale. Oh, come on. Be an awesome signing if I could sign him. <coughs> yeah. Don't know if I need a new goalkeeper. That's Gary McSweegan. I remember a lot of these names. Yeah. A bad record. Gonna have a lot of forwards soon. Wow, it's expensive. Oh, it's just, just get his wages sorted. Oh, we're getting, a, we're getting a bit of a team together here. Let's have a look at the squad. Still doesn't look a massive squad, does it? Check my goalkeeper out. Yeah, maybe a... Well, definitely... Oh, I've got another goalkeeper there. Lee Harrison. Don't know. Defenders. Only two centre-halves. Hmm. That's going to have to be addressed then. So uh, I need a goalkeeper and a centre-half at least. Hmm. Possibly another centre midfielder. Attackers I have plenty. I mean, whether they're any good or not, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so a goalkeeper and a centre back for sure. Let's see what we've got on the list here. Don't know either of those two. Let's go a bit lower. Claren and Whitbread. Scott, who are you? Andy Scott. Hmm. It's playing hardball. What I always do is then go again. Give a little bit of an increase. Come on. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> Fleeced you. Oh, he wants a one year deal. Guess he wants to see what we're made of. I'm such a penny pinch. <laughs> I just noticed I am. Okay, he can play both positions I need covering, so let's have a look at some of these goalkeepers. Mike Salmon. So fishy about him. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Um, let's see if there's any more well known ones up here. Oh, what about. Do we have the free transfers? Can we have a look at those? I seem to remember you used to be able to get some. You search for those, is it? Continue, continue, continue. Oh, I'll just go low. Free agent, that's what we want. Okay, so we'll let's see what freebies are out there. Just the one. <laughs> and he doesn't even look particularly free. Andy Collett. I guess he'd be a body. Oh, not enough time. Oh, it does annoy me when it does that. Okay. It's probably a good idea, really. I don't want the entire video is going to be about me buying players otherwise. But I always feel like this is the important time. You can buy players any time at this. You don't get a transfer window. But I really want to get my team ready for the season before I start the season. Uh, I suppose I can just find out what I've got before I... Oh, I've got Udo Onwere back. I don't know who he is, but... Fit players are important. to the transfer list immediately I wish I could buy some of these players Lance Key he's got lower league sides targeting him okay everyone's coming up to my level now It's a good sign that they're picking me um, when it's like a, a level offer because that means that Fulham obviously hold, still holds a bit of sway which is what I want. I want a side that deserves to be at the top. Do you know what I mean? It's good thought. Could loan him I suppose. Let's try and loan him. You want to come permanently? Don't want to come at all then, that's fine. I'm a little bit offended, but I'll get over it. John Gale. Willie Boland, I remember Willie Boland. Let's see if we can buy him. Damn it. What about on loan? Fancy that? I seem to recall he is a good player in this game. Kobe Jones, wow, the American, yeah. Okay, let's give him a try. He's keen. I like it when Premier League players want to come to me. Oh wow, they're straight in there. So what I generally do now is I'll do that and then. Suckers. <laughs> oh, the little tactics. No point taking a chance, is there? Okay, we've got an American international now. That's good. Um, I probably need one more centre half, really. Don't know who this bloke is. Good try. No, okay. 
Seems to be the centre halves are the ones that don't want to come. Um, Jason Cundy. Let's try it. Nope. I'm not even going to bother trying the loan. Bound. Mm. Wow, he's got good reviews. Reviews? <laughs> Ratings. <laughs> not reviews. Gary Elkin. Fair enough. Who's he got interested in? Uh, I suppose they're slightly higher teams than mine. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at the stats. I don't think he's going to want to come to me. How many 20s? I don't really need a right back, but... Thought there, I couldn't leave that one. I don't really need a left back, but this guy's nah, he's got good clubs after him. <laughs> that sounds bad on my team, doesn't it? He's got good clubs after him. Did I, I try to buy this bloke? Didn't I? Yeah, he wasn't interested. Okay, this will be my last signing. I promise. I just got to get one more centre back in. Is that Graham Potter? It is. Mm, it says left back though. No. Really don't need another left back. Down in. That's not Stuart down in, surely. No, Keith down in. Uh, what about this guy? David Barnes. Don't know. Prefer younger blood. That's Lee Sinnott. I know that name. A good tackling. Yeah, he's got good clubs. He's probably not going to want to bother. Oh, okay. Well, now we've got to get competitive. I do my sneaky little trick. It's sneaky, it's dishonest, but I don't really care. It gets me my play. He wants a lot less wages than some of these people. Okay, right. That's the squad I think I'm going to go with to start then. So let's get ready to start the season. I can make signings throughout the season. I've got cash available, so if I need to, I can buy more players. But I don't want to spend the entire video just shopping, basically, because that's going to get boring. If you did find all this boring trying to get the players in, then obviously, you know, skip ahead 10 minutes. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. Maybe I'll stick a little notice up there saying, you know, first 10 minutes or so of the video is me shopping. Okay, starts next week. Uh, I don't think I need to set anything up for my club yet, so we'll just carry on. We'll get into it. I haven't decided what formation I'm going to play yet. Like I said, I'm not going to use that cheat one because what's the point? Do you know what I mean? I mean, it would be good if I do struggle to get out of the division. Like, you know, say I have a season where I look like I'm not going to get promoted. Maybe I will switch to that mid-season just to sort of see if it works, see if we can go on a winning streak. But I want to start at least doing it my way and we'll see where we get. Okay. This is it. First game of the season. Oh no, it's not for us because it's the charity shield first. Okay, fair enough. Man United won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've got to get rid of these managers. I totally forgot about that. These are the manager, the fake manager I use to get my cash <laughs> at the beginning of the game. <laughs> you really need to get rid of him. I think you can delete them from the game. I miss these days where there was no like transfer window, you could literally just sign anyone at any time. I don't like having just set transfer windows. I guess it's good for the smaller clubs, because um, they know they're not going to lose their players obviously mid-season, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't like them. 
Uh, I don't know if I can get rid of those managers actually. Screw it, we'll just leave me. It's not like it's not like an unproven manager is going to get the uh, the Blackburn job. Duncan jumps out. I'm sure he's one of my new signings. So we got Preston away. Okay. Now there won't be much science here on who I'm going to be picking. Looks like everyone's fit, apart from obviously the ones that are injured. Um, so let's set our tactics first. I usually prefer long, uh, not long ball, <laughs> not even close. I usually prefer four four two. Probably will set up like that to start with. We'll probably go that way first. Probably play more direct ball. And obviously I'll set the captain in a second. Okay, so who are going to be my centre forwards? I'll probably go with Guppy. And you and Roberts to start with. I'll put McSwegan on the bench. We got me number 14. Goalkeeper's a tricky one. Maybe I'll go with my new sign in. In goal. And we'll have experience on the bench I've right, got Paul Telfer fit I think he's got to play right wing the thing is do I play Scott Oaks on the wing yeah I probably will actually so I'm going to play Scott Oaks on the left wing and I've got Kobe Jones to play I usually go number four in midfield and eight. Who is? Hmm, this is a tough one. Don't know these players well enough yet. Well, maybe I'll s go with. Know, let's have a look, see what this guy's like. Cypriot, good tackler. Not a great average rating, but we'll try him to start with. And I'll put a midfielder on the bench. So who should I put on the bench? We'll try Mr. Onwere on the bench. Okay, I think I'm going to have Gulu's at the right back. And yeah, what about a left back? Interesting choice to make. Oh, I had lots of left backs. I don't seem to have that many, to be honest. Roberto Herrera. He did well last season. Okay. I think you get the nod then. Okay, centre halves now. I've got some new sign ins here. Jeff Eckhart. Uh, Andy Scott. I'm gonna th I think I'm going to start with Andy Scott because he cost me some money, so I should use him really. Oh yeah, Duncan Jupp's injured, so release him is the other one. Yeah, looks like he deserves to play. Okay. So, I've got to switch six and four. I think it's to do with Man United, look, they're my team, and, and they always played like, I mean, obviously number seven used to play up front, but they would always play um, actually, well, I don't know actually because Steve Bruce used to wear number four a lot of the time, so maybe it was number five that would play midfield. I don't know. I've always got eight and four midfield, five and six centre halves, but that might be weird. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, who the heck is going to be my captain? Looking for high influence. So definitely not the goalkeeper. 14 is the highest so far. Oh man. Oh, Andy Scott 17. They get the feeling I don't have a very influential team here. <laughs> okay, looks like Andy Scott, you've been nominated. Let's set a win bonus. Mm, 
No. No bonus. Okay, we're done with that. Just got to see now about penalty takers. Um, I guess we've got to have our centre forwards up there taking penalties. Might move Oaks and Telfer up as well. Kobe Jones probably could take a penalty considering he's an international. Possibly Gulu's as well. Um, I don't know whether to make Guppy my penalty taker or not. Quick look and see what they're like. Uh, I don't know how you're supposed to know if they're good penalty takers or not. Maybe just by the goals they score. He got eight goals last season. How about Roberts? What oh, bloody hell is Roberts? There he is. 13. I think he's probably the right person to put up there as a penalty taker. Okay. We'll see how this gets on. Actually, none of us. This is weird. <laughs> oh, good start. I always like it when we score the first goal. Pedrosian, and he was one of my, like, I don't know whether I should pick him. People. Oh, go away. No. Hit the post. Ugh. Offside? Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a foul. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Come on. Oh, well, that didn't last long, did it? I don't know if direct ball is the way to go. I mean, I just thought it was the way to do it in the lower leagues. Go on, Roberts. Come on. Yes. <laughs> so, I, I wanted to celebrate when it says he scores, but then you never know if you're going to get a sting in the tail. So, it's a pretty good start. Not great in terms of performance. Guppy not playing so well. Oh, can't really single him out. There's a lot of fives. Nebelink is a hell of a name. So that looks like this team's got a bit of bottle about it. Be happier with another goal though. Alright, let's have a look. See who needs coming off. Uh, I might take Guppy off. Then we'll give McSweegan a run out. And maybe we'll switch Kobe Jones with on the way, eh? Don't like defending. Creating chances, though. Lovely. Good start. Okay. Um, my subs did all right as well when they came on. few average performances there but a couple of slightly above average winning is the most important thing though in this game still not sold I don't like playing direct ball and long ball and all that guff it's just you know obviously I've got I've got to bear in mind I've got lower league players so I need to make sure that obviously they're not gonna have the best passing and everything else Normally it goes against my every principle to play that kind of type of football. It's just weird controlling another team. It's, it's usually United all the way. I have played like as South End, which is my local team, um, or was. I'm living in the Midlands now. And uh, Charlton, who I used to go and watch, because my mate's a Charlton fan. So I've been there. I've been to Nottingham Forest a few times as well. Not 
sure if I need to make any more signings yet. I think we'll stick with what we got for a couple of games at least. Jamie Tate, I know who you are, but you're in the reserves, so that's probably why. Full program, who we got? Home to Huddersfield, could be tricky. Peter Barr, seeing all the people that we didn't pick last time. I don't know if Scott Oakes is a midfielder, I'm sure he's a midfielder, but... He's got a lot of goals, yeah, maybe we'll keep him at midfield then. He's definitely playing left midfield, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Maybe what we'll do for this game is we'll set up as... Let's set up as a passing team. We'll see if that suits some of my players better. Might give you a start as well. Expensive new signing, but he didn't exactly play well in the last game. So, if I remember, he was a bit of a flop at um, Sheffield Wednesday. Okay, we'll give this a try. See how we go. Wow, that took a while to get a chance, didn't it? Just, <laughs> I was just about to celebrate. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, again, never celebrate, never celebrate. Okay, good. Ewan Roberts is looking like a bit of a master stroke at this early stage. Okay, looks like we're playing a bit better. Guppy's having a, another shocker. The curse of the number four as well. We'll persevere. Guppy's in serious danger of losing his place there. Okay, let's... Huddersfield signed Tommy Mooney. I was trying to sign him myself. Look at this. That's some shocking ratings there. Guppy's going to be dropped for the next game. Swap here with Kobe Jones. Maybe it's because Kobe Jones is on the bench. He's feeling a bit intimidated. Well, it wasn't a thrill a minute, but it's another win. Poor performances, though. To start playing better. Oh, they've got Phil Starbuck. I remember him because of the name Starbuck. Because it was like I used to love watching Battlestar Galactica. So I'm sure we play for Sheffield Wednesday. It's good when you recognise the players. I can never remember the good ones. I, I thought Oxford had a good one. I thought they had Joey. Joey Beauchamp or someone, I'm sure he was a good player, but I didn't see him in the lineup. Maybe he'd already moved on at that point. I'm sure he was at Oxford. This is the problem when you um, mess around and disrupt um, other teams, they nick managers of other clubs. I was going to put Man United in as my financial backer but I didn't want um, Alex Ferguson to be out of a job so I didn't bother doing that but um, it would have been quite interesting I suppose just want to have a look and see if I can find see yeah, I looked at Oxford I wonder 
where he was because Joey Beauchamp was a really good player. I don't know if he started down here. Was Dion Dublin still? I know he's at Man United in this one. Yeah, he'd already moved on. I remember. There's got to be some fairly decent players in this. Um, see, Crew always had good players. I was going to be Crew, but that documentary came out last night um, about the abused footballers, and it just somehow didn't seem right, you know. Wow, that guy's got some great stats. Shocking average rating, though. How about before? Oh, hang on. Anthony Hughes. Where's he playing? It's not a it's not a great endorsement. <laughs> those uh, those stats. Is that Neil Lennon? It is Neil Lennon. Mm. Sean Wise down as a left back. Certainly don't need another left back. It may not be as easy to buy. I thought maybe buying from my own division would be easier than it. Try one more club. Yeah, did Wickham have any players? I can't actually remember. No, I don't know none of those. Simon Hutchinson, that seems to ring a bell. Let's leave it. Just turn into the shopping channel <laughs> rather than championship manager at the moment. Okay, so look, here we go. Scarborough. I think the only change I'm going to make is. Guppy's average rating like last season. I guess technically he's performing this season because he was. He was ranked bad last season. I just figured that that wouldn't make no difference in my team. I thought they would um, start fresh kind of thing, but he's carrying on where he left off, that guy. I'll put him on the bench, though. He may come on and prove a point. Okay, I think, I think we're good. Uh-oh. No. Now we're not so good. Damn it. First time I've been behind. Uh oh. Don't be a red card. Box. Seems like a bit of a hothead, old Bedrosian. <laughs> be careful. Creating some chances now with that. It's crazy. All over him like a rash. Oh, you and Roberts is having a stinker now. What's going on with this team? Midfielders are playing better. I don't want him to be sent off. And we'll try. See if Guppy comes on to prove a point. I don't like taking Roberts off, really, but. Nope. Defeated. Damn, first defeat. Well, Gary McSweegan played well. That's the silver lining, I guess, there. Guppy got a five, which for him is a good one. I just remember Scott Oakes being a great player in this game, but I don't know, he's not doing anything special at the moment. We just got to give him time, I guess. Unless he was better in the 
the lower versions are like the you know 93 90 whatever Oh, I guess the first defeat had to come at some point. He's healing. He's the winger, isn't he? I think I'm going to have to renew his contract. You're on 350. Yep, you are. Done. You can resign. I wish I could just get one decent centre forward it looks like I don't know Ewan Roberts has played well so I'm not going to knock him yet but it's a bit I've got to I've got to get more goals in this team even like when we're playing well we're not scoring many uh, Starbucks not at others field anymore he's gone already that's the one thing you do find with these games is players do change clubs very quickly actually let's not do that let's just Yeah, I just would love to get a forward in. I would love to loan Daly and Atkinson, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Oh, screw it, let's try. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> that was obvious, wasn't it? Is you're getting in people's cast offs. There's obviously a reason they don't want them. Maybe I should just like be patient. Wow, well, some goal scorers right there, aren't there? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get either one of these two. I'll try for John Spencer though. Well. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's a little bit too ambitious, isn't it, trying to get those players? Colin Cram, now I remember this guy. Sure, he scored some goals. He's keen. Should be able to outmuscle all these people. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why he seems to stick in the mind. I'm, I'm hoping he sticks in the mind because he was a good goal scorer. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Coca Cola Cup. Oh, those were the days. Right, let's make a couple of changes in. I'm going to put him on the bench, I think, for this game. Sorry, Guppy. You ain't impressed me yet. Eckhart's got 20 tackling. Maybe he should get a place in this team. Um, how's Scott doing? Not too bad. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not yet then. I was thinking about rotating for this game, but I'll just—I think we'll leave it at that. Jeez, I was playing Chelsea then for a second. <laughs> That'd have been a bit unfair, wouldn't it? This early stage. Could do with a cup run. Oh, I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Oh, disallowed. <laughs> Reverse curse. Oh, Honor's pretty much even there. Come on, boys. Oh. You and Roberts is having another shocker. Left back's not doing much either. Hmm. A couple of changes in mind, but right. oh no! Damn it! All right. Let's we'll try lumping it forwards now. Direct ball. Actually, I will tell you, I'll go long ball. Screw it. Alright, I'm going to swap you 
with Oaks. We'll try him at left back for a spell. You can swap with Comey Jones because he can play left midfield. And let's get Colin Cram in there for his debut. Should have given him a bloody win bonus for this game, shouldn't I? Come on. Feeling a booking was coming at least. Damn it, I hope it's two legs. Ah, oh, some shocking performances. Colin Cram was rubbish. <laughs> Oh no. Hopefully that's the first leg. Yeah, it's first leg. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought I saw that earlier. I've started this managerial merry-go-round here, haven't I? That's got another 21. Lee Harrison, I don't think he's in my team. Oh, he's the goalkeeper, isn't he? Yeah. Ah, oh, well, Scott Oakes is out now. Here we got Home to Rochdale. Okay, so we've got some chances to give someone else a game now. This I could see what this guy's all about. Might need to get a reserve winger anyway, actually, because I seem to have a lot on the left wing. Uh, let's put Harrison on the bench considering he's like a an under 21 might be a good one to put on the bench uh, I think we're going to keep Guppy out of the team for now <laughs> oh man I'm massively bunged up today excuse me for uh, sniffing on camera I'm not camera <laughs> I'm not on camera Uh, might try something new here actually if we put Duncan Jupp in at 6 and I might pick this guy as a midfielder maybe he's supposed to be a midfielder he's been playing ok don't get me wrong but he's doing alright isn't he because he's versatile okay let's see how that goes see if you and Roberts can get over his jinx ever since I said he was signing him as a master stroke he's been absolutely awful oh, man, a lot of attacking but well, that's better performance Doing a blooming goal there. Uh, come on. Ugh. Man. Oh no. <laughs> oh, what the hell? No, oh, I didn't check there. He's playing rubbish stats. I think Swigan's out playing there. Roberts again. Let's give these two a go. Go on. Oh, oh no. Oh man. Seven chances to zero and I didn't win. I finally got a man of the match. Oh, bang average team, isn't it? All this money spent. It's a problem in it though. When you're lower league in this game, you can only buy rubbish. Paul Telfer's been an alright signing so far. I think I signed Sinner as well. He's been doing all right. I 
might try a new formation in a minute. We're not going to give in to temptation though and use that other one. Not yet. Too early. Let's stamp my own authority on this team. Kwame Ampadu. Paul Bowden. Do you remember these names? I mean, not all of them, admittedly, but. There's still a lot of free transfers going on. I don't know how you find just the free transfers. Cantonar's coming up. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see us get Cantonar for nothing. It's never going to happen. Uh, it doesn't say any of these players are free. He's a free agent. <laughs> Eric, come play for Fulham. Damn. <laughs> oh man, could you imagine? Little temporary glitch in the game, and he turns turns up, comes to play for us. I don't think any of these free agents are necessarily interested. They're just, at the moment, they're probably just about to do their contracts. Um, let's do one more search, and this time I'm just going to go for unsettled players. Just sometimes, if they're unsettled, you can get one. It's, it's not likely you're going to get anybody super great, but I don't know many of these people again. Be a good shrewd signing. Bit of a journey, man, you never know. Right, so I think that's filled my squad now. So, the reason I'm thinking about we're signing another midfielder is I'm thinking about. Just playing maybe three at the back, giving it a try. Uh, let's see what we've got available in terms of formations. You can't play three at the back. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? I might go four, five, one then. trying an extra midfielder so number nine you've got to be 14 now you and Roberts sorry Colin Cram you haven't played well enough and I was thinking about putting Scott in the uh, midfield and then we want Right, actually no. Let's go with Cockrell in the midfield because he's he's the veteran. There we go. And I'm 
go back to Owen Scott on a bench. There we go. Why not try it? I thought with five in midfield, we've got to play passing football, really. Hmm. Let's be making many chances. <laughs> I don't want to go long ball because obviously it just cuts the whole midfield out then, doesn't it? Oh, man. Yeah, Jump's not cut out to be a captain by the looks of things. Cockrell's having a stormer. Okay. Before it goes to shit, preferably. Thank you. I'm going to try Roberts up front. Right. Let's go. Come on, you, and don't let me down. One chance the entire game. <laughs> that was not good. We played well though. It's in my first sevens and eights. Scott's got to start the next game. For sure. Probably going to look to wrap it soon. Because I think that... Um, these are going to be long enough videos anyway. I'm going to try one more match with this formation just to see if it's worth sticking with. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't got any uh, players of the month in that. Okay, that's fine. Damn, Lee Sinnott's out. That's not good. There we go. Chester away. Oh, God, we lost to them, didn't we, as well? Okay. I just noticed why they played so rubbish in the last game. Because changing the formation... <laughs> oh, idiot. I meant my number six was in midfield. Sorry, Jack. That's probably why you had a shocker. Five. And who can hit the bench this time? I haven't tried Kelly in the team yet. Man. We'll go with Kobe Jones. Show of support. So we've got past the feet. Um, Bedrosian. Cockrell. Onwere. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Right. Let's see if we can actually do something with this game. Created one chance in the last game. <laughs> we got one chance again. Come on, guys. We're playing okay, apart from you. Oh, disallowed, yes. <laughs> oh, what a result. No, go away. Thank you. Chester turned into my bogey side. Oh, McSweegan's playing well. Oh, God. Wow, shocking. Okay. What can we do about this? You can go attack central. Normal, and we'll put you and Roberts in there. And we're gonna stick Paul Telfer in behind to support. I don't want to try. 
health I might like. Um, playing in behind the strikers. I mean, maybe not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Bloody Chester. This is not the note I wanted to leave this video on, but we are not doing well on that. Is a terrible performance. When you get the feeling it could take a season to get any decent players. If it does go tits up in the, the whole thing, what I might do is then restart at some point, but start with a team in a, a higher division so I can get some better quality players in. Because that always was the problem with starting in the bottom division in this game, is that you can only get the dross. And then it's obviously 50-50 whether you fit them into a good team or not. Things aren't exactly going great at the moment. Of course, all this could get taken out of my hands because if we continue to play like this, I could get sacked. So, you know, there, there is that possibility. I think we're going to have one more match. and then Because I really would like to leave with a bit of success under my belt. Oh, John Harp's finally on the move. That's the thing, see, you make that breakthrough, get promoted. Just one division, it can make a big difference to the sort of players you can bring in. Uh, my left back goes down. Oh no, <laughs> this is getting, this is going from bad to worse. I did get Scott Oakes back, I was going to put him at, um, left back in this game but I oh, saw yeah left midfield but I've got to do that because this guy is having a shocker so Scott Oaks you can go straight back onto the left and I can find another left back I've got so many left sided defenders let's give this pike bloke a go we haven't played him yet um, yeah you're not play grey okay Gotta put Scott back at six because he was playing there before and well. I think that's probably it. Is that oh, I'm missing a sent uh, Glenn Cockfall's replacement? Is it time for Kobe Jones to shine? I mean, he got a lot of options to be honest. Paul Kelly. <laughs> Not got much of a record, has he? What have we got on the bench? It's Kobe Jones, and it? it's going to have to be. And wow, who the hell am I going to put on the bench? <laughs> it's not good, is it? I will put Teeling on the bench. I'm going to give you and Roberts a start in this game as well. When he is a goal scorer. It's hard on McSweegan, he's been playing alright, but well, he's a flipping goal scorer as well, isn't he? At a higher level. Oh, it's a tricky one. Yeah, it is a tricky one. Go with your gut, Lee. Your captain. We'll stick with this formation to start with. Maybe we'll play a little bit more direct. There we go. Oh, so you're going to have to give him a win bonus on this one as well. Uh, 250. There you go. Cup run will be worth more to us. Well, let's do this. Final match of this video. Let's go out in style. Please. We've lost twice to this team. Not looking good so far. We haven't created a chance yet. No! Oh, you absolute spanner. How can you. Oh, idiot. Alright, so I'm going to have to move. Probably move him out to the right. So, midfield, right. 
What an idiot. I can't remember if you can find players in this. He feels like he should get a fine for that. That's totally cost us the cup now. Not that we were ever going to win it, but you know what I mean. It's a cup run would have been good, but we've got no chance now. Pile of pants. No, we might as well go for it. I said I wanted to play, and uh, three at the back. So let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna have number two going to the middle. I'll just pump it forwards. She might also. He's having a shocker. So you can come off. I'll give this bloke one more try. We can get anything out of this game. A goal would be like, you know, something, I guess. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to be enough. Harry Butler does not sound like a footballer. Oh, come on. Hacked. No penalty. Hacked. Absolute garbage. And Telford was playing well when he got sent off as well. Gary McSweegan's definitely got a start. It's a rather demoralising way to go out and have won my first two games. Can't win Jack since then. It's absolutely frustrating. Yeah, should find him really, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to leave the video there, I think. We've played 10 games, so it's not too well. We're in week 10, so that's not too bad. Um, it's not going well, so things have got to change. Hopefully... Uh, Things will start. I've got to hit on the right formation and everything, and I'm not doing that yet. So you never know. We'll try and do that in the next video. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to throw a subscription my way, and also do like the video as that helps. It shows me that it's popular, shows me that you want more. Uh, do leave a comment in the bottom, and remember, I'm not playing the cheat formation, so you don't have to tell me about that. I do know about it, but I just wanted to try and do this one the right way for a bit more fun i mean it's not fun if you're just going to win every single match is it so for now we're not resorting to that but any players uh, that you th feel like i should try and sign um let me know and i'll obviously give it a go in the next video if you want to leave a comment it's down below or social media addresses on screen as we speak okay guys thank you so much for watching do take care in these difficult times and see you on the next video bye for now